Hey guys, I am so excited to do today's video because I have always wanted to find a drugstore price range eyeshadow primer that I really loved and I couldn't all this time if I really wanted to do an eye look and not have to worry about the eyeshadows that were going on top of the eyeshadow primer I would either use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot or some other shade of paint pot or I would use my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion because I knew if I used either one of those that no matter what I picked for eyeshadows it was going to go on beautiful and blend well and stay the same all day and not do anything and I had tried to find something that was less expensive and I just couldn't I had tried so many different things and I finally found something and not only does it work as well as the MAC paint pots and the Urban Decay primer potion I actually like it better so this is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used it is very different than anything I've ever tried before the formula is quite different and I will explain more to you about that in a second what am I talking about LA colors LA colors eyeshadow primer I had never seen this anywhere and I was at a family dollar tree family dollar tree I was at a family dollar store that I had never been to before and I saw this and I was like what LA colors eyeshadow primer wasn't familiar with this product and had never seen it before so I picked it up and now I'm gonna have to find a I wasn't close to home when I bought this so now I'm gonna have to find a family dollar store that is close to home that carries this product because yeah I had never seen it before this was two dollars and fifty cents plus tax you can't beat that a, a MAC paint pot or an Urban Decay Primer Potion is 20 something dollars 20 something dollars versus two dollars and fifty cents this is a no-brainer uh, there isn't a lot of product in here let's see does it say this came with like a cardboard backing completely sealed with a plastic piece on the front so I don't have that anymore because I've been testing this out for a long time I wanted to make sure that there weren't any issues with it or um, I wanted to be able to do a full-on review and tell you the good and the bad if there was any so I've been testing this for a long time so I don't have the packaging that came with it no that information was written on the packaging so I don't know and I can't find a link to this I mean it's on the LA Colors website but like as far as a store link or anything like that no but it has a doe foot applicator it has sort of a, a slight chemical type smell to it but it isn't anything um, that's going to bother you once it dries a little bit that smell goes away but it isn't a super strong smell anyway but I just figured I would mention it because sometimes products have like you know pleasant smells or whatever but this is just a slight chemical smell but what makes this eyeshadow primer different than anything I have ever tried before is it's super crazy wet and I like that because I have dry skin so there's something in this that makes it apply really wet I just take some right out of the tube and then just dab it all into the eye area and then I blend it out with my finger and then I wait a second and go in with the eyeshadows and my eyeshadows blend so beautiful and if it's an eyeshadow that um, is wet itself that has a tendency to move they don't move with this um, but I think that the one of the things that I like the most about this is 
no matter what I use for an eyeshadow over this. It doesn't matter if I use a $1 eyeshadow or I use a $40 eyeshadow. It doesn't matter. Everything performs so beautifully over this. I just hope I can find a backup because like I said, I wasn't near home when I found this at a family dollar. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go on the hunt now for a backup for this because you can't buy it off the LA Colors website. Underneath that product, it says in stores only. So yeah, I better be able to find this again. Um, but I love this. It makes everything more pigmented. The the eyeshadows tend to go on a little bit deeper and darker than the actual color of them. You know how with some eyeshadows, um, when you go to put them on, they don't show up as accurate on as they do like in the package. This makes them go on true. I, I, so I shouldn't have said they go on darker. They go on truer is what happens. Um, I just love this so much, you guys. I, I can't even believe that I found an eyeshadow primer that I love this much for $2.50. It's just so different than anything I've ever tried, including the high-end ones. So I highly, highly recommend it. Now, the eyeshadows that I use today, do you remember the original 12 color eyeshadow palettes that they used to sell at Dollar Tree. I had a few of them years ago and honestly, they weren't very good. I threw them away at some point because I just didn't like them. Well, I was at Dollar Tree the other day and I saw this and I said, oh, they've redesigned the original 12 color eyeshadow palettes, the packaging. I wonder if they changed the formula. I bought one. I tried it out. I went back and I got the rest of them. <laughs> so these are so much nicer than they were before. Now I it's been so many years since I had the original ones that I don't really remember whether the color schemes are different or not. But this is the one that I'm wearing today, and it's called Chic. And I've worn this, I just got this the other day and have worn it multiple times already. I love this color scheme in here. I just think it is stunning. So what I did today for today's look is I used the white as my highlight shade. Then I took this shade right here, which... I'm so into purple lately, I don't know what is going on, but I've been wearing like every combination of purple eyeshadows known to man lately. But that shade is what is in my crease. I put this shade on my lids, and then I took some of that shade and dragged it along the lower lash line underneath my eyeliner. So that is what I have on for my look today. And everything else that I have on will be in the description box. I was finally able to wear my Maybelline Superstay foundation because we went to the Cape yesterday, um, Cape Cod, and I got some sun and uh, I got a lot of sun on my arms. I didn't, I thought I was going to get a sunburn, but I didn't. I actually got a little bit tan. You can see my arms like kind of like a light brown color but I got some sun and now I should be able to wear my Maybelline Superstay foundation because when I bought that I bought 120 which I think is classic ivory and it was a little dark for me and I knew once we got into the warmer weather actually I don't even think it's technically summer yet right summer's still a couple days away or something like that but I got a little bit of sun and uh, I've been outside more lately so now it's finally a match for me so I can wear that foundation. I really do like it. Um, so yeah you guys I love 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 this eyeshadow primer and I highly recommend if you see it at Family Dollar try it out. You know they also might have it at Dollar General. 
I haven't looked, but that's another possibility is they might carry it at Dollar General as well. But $250, you need this. You need this. Trust me. Best drugstore priced eyeshadow primer I've ever used. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.